Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zealot, and we are here today doing Alpha 12, and our base is under attack right now. So I wanted to get this recording in at the start of the episode for us here. So this is our first base attack against us. I'm <clears throat> a little worried. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is such a little beater. Okay, let's see which way it's coming from. Oh, over there. Okay. So it looks like uh, three, three drones. Oh, rocket drone coming at my guys right now. Let's try and... Stop them from shooting. Yay! We have successfully defended our first attack. Now, it got a rocket shot off. I saw that hit somewhere. So we'll have to repair whatever it damaged. I think it was going for this sentry gun here. That's interesting. That's an interesting target. It's kind of a soft target, too, so it is quite plausible for it to actually destroy it. Let's uh let's loot these really quick. Ooh, capacitor device. Oh, that's very nice. The capacitor device is a very, very nice. Okay. Where are we here? Let's get out. We'll have to uh, drone this one. I don't feel like swimming. Lovely. Anything is appreciated. Thank you very much. And the last one over here. Some more uh, rare parts would be nice. Oops. Don't want to do that. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Well, let's get back to the base. So that was a good, nice start to the episode. Uh, I'm going to continue off camera a bit doing the um, uh, blocks up to finish off the base uh, grow plots and everything. So let's uh, do that. I've got them cooking up in... Um, I had them cooking up. Uh, I was just about to start cooking them up. That's what I was doing. So I'm going to get those all built. And then we'll come back, get those installed, get the oxygen up. I don't think I have anything in the way of sprouts that, uh, that are usable. Oh, yeah. I've got tomatoes and wheat. Okay. And mushrooms. So we can also go uh, hunting for some some sprouts this planet has plenty actually in the way of uh usable uh plant life for uh harvesting to, to uh, create seedlings out of um i think it has everything we need to make ration packets with i think we can get everything we want out in the wild so we'll try doing that um, so in the meantime, I'm going to cook all this stuff up and I'll be right back. We'll get that set up and then we'll go, uh, hunting for some sprouts, I guess. Okay. I ran out of wood. Um, and so I'm going to grab a bunch of these trees, but I also noticed that there is some, uh, harvestable plants that we need here too. So, and the temperature is not too bad. Let's uh, do a little bit of harvesting here. Um, we can cut down these trees. Two logs. I don't need much. Oh, see, there's spice too. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay, so let's... Let's jump out, and we're going to go wander around a little bit here. We should be okay to wander. 
I'll just uh, get my shotgun ready here. And yeah, get some. Oh, we're only unfriendly with the Xerox. Well, whatever. They still tried to kill me. They still have it out for me. So, you know. You know. I like trying to be uh, not hostile to, to me after they attack me. Well. <clears throat> I still think if I went and looked at the base, it'll probably already have a imminent attack on it again. So, uh, okay, I went a little further that way than I wanted to. So I'm going to continue doing this stuff. I'm going to grab these flowers and, yeah, there's not much around. And you can see, see the temperatures really right in the comfortable section could probably even not have uh, armor on although I'd suffocate but uh, yeah, I want to get all this stuff nice we can get a couple of each get a couple of the spice get a couple of these herbal leaves we can at least get a start we can we can get a couple of sprouts made of those and then get a start I already have a whole bunch of those thorns, although I could have picked it for XP, I guess. Grab this stuff, might as well. Okay, I'm not seeing a whole ton more other than some plant fiber and protein. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue grabbing some more plants. Uh, I need to go get... I need to go get some oranges and how long do we have on these we have nine oh 99 minutes well wow, okay and some herbal leaves they'll last a little bit smidge we need more spice spice some fruits and vegetables well, that's what we need okay and did I bring enough oxygen with me yep we're okay. Oh, man. Got a couple of concrete blocks on me, though. <laughs> you know what? This thing can handle it. Yeah, easy. Oh, wow. We just dropped. <laughs> we just dropped. Good. Maybe it can't handle it. Wow. I mean, okay, I guess it's not really the volume. We're looking at the mass. Yeah, 1.1 tons. Okay. Yeah. So they're, they're heavy. They're heavy. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to continue picking, and I will come get you once I've got all the stuff together uh, to finish off the garden. And see, here's spice and whatnot. Okay. Good. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. We are back at base. It's actually getting... I didn't realize how late it was. Wow. Should have slept. Anyway, I finished off both the wings. So this is how they came out. Not too bad. I'll paint and texture this later. I just want to get it functional. So it's all oxygenated and sealed. And then we have the other side. Same thing. Built, oxygenated, and sealed. So, um... If the planet was O2, if there was O2 on the planet, I wouldn't need to put ventilators in. But because there are is no O2, I have to put ventilators in. If it was on a temperate, temperate planet, you might not even have to seal it, but I would advise against that because if it drops in temperature below a certain threshold, the plants die. If it goes above a certain threshold, the plants die. And radiation can kill them so radiated fog would come in and kill them anyway so you got to seal up your garden just it just it's just the way it is <laughs> uh so they're all ready to go to receive some sprouts i've got some made i i did collect quite a bit of what i needed um not in that one i they're in here here we go okay so um we've got 
Oh, that's right, too. I couldn't make any fruits. At least not that I... Maybe I tried the... Maybe I can make pear things. Let's take a look. No. No. No, it needs four also. Okay, so that's fine. We can't grow any fruits, but we will grab these anyway. So let's just... Um, here, you know what? Let's connect to this one. And we'll put these down here. We also have these and the mushrooms. So that's really awesome, actually. So what I need now is I need... Um, I didn't have enough to make it. I need more natural stimulant to make some, some coffee plants. And... Uh, it's not for the energy drink that I need it for, actually. It's if we ever need to make radiation immunity, we need the natural stimulant for that. Uh, and I've run into that a bunch of... You can't just buy this stuff either. You, you can only craft it. I don't even think you can loot it. I don't know if I've ever looted radiation immunity shots. But uh, maybe. I mean, I've... I've looted tons of adrenaline shots but I'm like, I can't remember about radiation immunity they're really rare and so we might have to make some um, which is fine which is fine so we're gonna keep natural stimulant growing I think too but I only need like one or two sprouts of that uh, so I just I don't need much um, so let's get this planted now oh the other thing I wanted to look at too was okay crop yield three they changed how many how what the yield is on spice it used to be one uh that's still the same pumpkin is still eight uh, 145 minutes now i'm not too concerned about the 145 minutes because i usually don't sit there and wait for my crops to grow i i come back a couple hours later and you know, I usually only pick my crops once a day. So, you know what? If they take a day to grow, I'm fine with that. So, I what I look for is crop yield per plot is more important to me. Because I'm not sitting there jumping on them as they finish growing. I, I'm like, I'm not at my base when they finish growing, right? So, what's the point of having these short growth time? sprouts if I'm not there to pick them right away so this you can see the tomato sprout yields vegetables but only four over 80 minutes so this is double double now now look at this number two four over 80 minutes eight over 145 minutes. That's actually more yield per minute. It's more yield per minute on the pumpkin, so it's even technically faster. <laughs> yeah, if, if it was 160 minutes, then it would be identical. But it's 145 minutes, so it's actually technically, you're getting more vegetables quicker in 145 minutes you're getting eight instead of only four you know what I'm saying and then and then it, it it's actually works out that your pumpkins over time give you more than the quicker yield stuff with with small crop yields the quicker quicker growth with small crop yields aren't necessarily the way to go if you're not sitting there picking them instantly then it's not necessarily the best way to go. So they also increased the crop yield on the mushrooms to four. Uh, wow, six for grain. That's huge. One still for buds. That's annoying. And one for herbal leaves still. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what it's going to take to make some of our goodies. And we're going to figure out what we need. We're going to do the math here. So first of all, emergency rations. We need purify water. Yeah, whatever. That's just water. 
hot beverage that requires buds and requires two of them. So we need two buds. Fruit juice, two fruit juice. And each fruit juice requires two fruit. So we need four fruit. So two buds, four fruit. And then energy bars, six energy bars. Okay, so if I'm not going to have the meat, that means I have to make the meat out of, out of plant protein. So that means we're going to be looking at vegetables. So to make meat, one plant protein, one vegetable. Okay, uh, to make plant protein, it's one vegetable yields two. Okay. So it's one and a half vegetables per meat. And then they, it's three of the salami, right? And they require one meat and one spice. So that's one and a half times three is four and a half vegetables just to make the meat. And one spice, so we only need three spice. So four and a half vegetables, three spice, two buds, four fruit, and then, oh, the energy bars require two plant proteins. So that's another 12 plant protein, which is another six vegetables. So that's ten and a half vegetables. So if I don't have the meat, if I have to make the meat myself, that's ten and a half vegetables, three spice, two buds, and four fruit. Okay, so that's the formula that we need to come up with to develop our emergency rations. Everything else is just is just great. The rest of it is more concentrated uh, for for healing stuff so that means the um that means the alien herb the healing herbs the natural stimulant and the mushrooms are going to be growing getting grown for healing stuff okay so ten and a half vegetables that's more than a full plot of veg so that's that's you know pretty substantial um, so that's, might need to round that up. And then two, whoops, it was two of the big alien flowers and they only yield one each. Ah, so I need two plots for them. So two alien flowers, two pumpkins. One spice and oh, we count two. What's the yield? Eight and half a space orange. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to multiply that by. Let's say six. Um, so that means we're going to need 63, 63 of the um, pumpkins or vegetables, I should say. 63 vegetables. Well, that almost works out perfectly to eight, right? Because 64 divided by 8 is 8. So we have 8 plots of vegetables. Um, and then we're going to need... Uh, so this is to make 6 rations, right? So 8 plots of vegetables. And then... Does that sound right? 8, 64. Yeah, so we need eight, eight 
plots of vegetables, we need six, no, three plots. One, two, three, six. Six plots of spice. So the spice is one to one, basically, because it's a yield of three. Okay. So six spice, we need eight pumpkins. We're going to need... Um, so that means 6 times 2 is 12. We're going to need 12 buds. Ugh. Damn, I, I don't want to dedicate a, pl a, a whole 12 to just buds. That's pretty extreme. Um, you know what? Maybe we won't make enough for 6. <laughs> God damn. Really? Okay, so let's aim for four. So we'll need 42 vegetables. That's, um... Well, we might as well just say five vegetable plots. We're going to need four of the spice plots. We'll need, um... Eight of the big alien flowers and then we'll need two of the orange orange trees at a yield of eight and then the rest of them that's that's better that's better that'll work a lot better i think i'm going to do nine pumpkins anyway just to give me extra a whole bunch of extra pro protein to make like uh, hamburgers and whatnot in between the um, in between. So let's do that. So we're going to do six. We've got them there. We're not going to bother with. Uh, actually, you know what? I will throw down the tomatoes just to get the uh, vegetables out of them to turn them into pumpkins for now. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to actually need more more of the big alien flowers. Then, right? We're going to need two more. I can make two more. No, I've got eight. What am I talking about? That's perfect. Okay. So I've got the right amount of flowers. Let's put those down then. So we've got eight flowers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to put down six spice it's going to be extra spice we don't actually need six we only needed four so that's going to give us six extra spice which we can make like pizza out of i always have i don't have enough spice after i build all my uh stuff to do other foods with so that'll actually be handy now that they have such a higher crop yield okay so um and then Let's do, what else are we going to do in here? Let's put, um, oh God, I don't know. I don't know. We only need like one mushroom now, I think. I think we're only going to need like one mushroom, seriously. And then, here, let's get, get some vegetables going in here anyway. We'll get the, uh, get some tomatoes in here for now. Um, Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's not do tomatoes there. We can finish this off with... We'll do uh, wheat. We'll do wheat. And... So we only need like one now, right? And then we'll put two of the healing herbs down because they only have a yield of one. Yeah. Okay. So this side's done. Uh, the other side is the one that's going to get all the vegetables. So let's grab those. What the heck did I do with them? It's in um, right here. Right there.
Um, okay, so let's just put all these down. And the pumpkins. So we want to turn all these into pumpkins once, you know, midnight hits. Um, <laughs> just, I had to say that. Uh, no, um, we're going to turn those, we're going to turn all the uh, tomato plants into pumpkin plants. So, just for the yield, right? Just for the yield. So on this side, I think we can mix it up now. We need to get a couple of fruit trees. So that's not a big deal. And then we need... Um... God, not having to need so much spice all of a sudden kind of opens things up, even though that I had to do more buds. Um, I don't know. We'll, th we'll think of it. We'll think of it. Well, I, I need to put in, you know... I mean, I guess I could put just more... Get some more, like, mushrooms down... Yeah, we need we need stimulant and we need fruits. So uh, I guess what we'll do now is starve. No, we've got we've got lots of plant protein over here, right? And we have uh, we have some meat, so we'll make ourselves some steaks really quick. And then I'm just going to dump this into here. That's fine. And let's eat that. And just, I just need a little bit more here. My tummy is always in need of food. Come on. Some more. Just a couple more. And I think what we're going to go do is we're going to start on this quest chain. Um, but first, we're going to eat all these steaks that I just made in here. But, but first, what I want to do is we already... Did we already discover where everything was? I think we did, right? Yeah, we've got the trading station down there. We are friendly with the Polaris. So I think at this point, where's my... So we've got no credits. And I'm only, I'm about halfway through to level 10. So we've got to hit level 10. We need to get some credits. Um, so I think think what I'm going to do next episode is we are going to do the crash site and then we will get um, some rep hopefully I mean it's, it wants us to keep going on the, the stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up a whole bunch of weapons for us to sell so I'm going to make, I got lots of cobalt ore, we can spin up 40 ore, or 40 ingots. So the drills sell really good, so I want to sell, make a bunch of them, we'll make five of them. Be five of the multi-tools, be five of the regular pistols. Do five assault rifles, and I don't think I can queue up anymore. No. So I'll make five of the shotguns and five sniper rifles, and then we'll take uh, those with us too when we when we head out on our escapades next episode and try and sell those to get uh, money so that we can get more resources, basically. <laughs> uh, I want to get some sprouts, obviously. Um, do we have any, we have this thousand dollars in credit that we'll take and we'll buy the, we'll be able to buy the sprouts that we need with that. And then, um, our garden will be complete. 
Okay, guys. Next episode, we are going to go do some missions, sell our weapons, and basically, I want to try and hit level 10 next episode so that uh, the, the stuff that we're selling and the credits that we get for it, I want to buy a bunch of rare ingots some neodymium and we can just buy the cobalt and then we'll be able to like bring in a decent hv instead of this piece of crap okay guys well that's all gonna happen next episode so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day